Coming up this week, we're going to take a look at this beautiful 1967 C10 from my friends at Chevrolet that's been fully restored to a resto mod. This is going to be our throwback edition. We're going to see what it has on these South Georgia streets as it's packing a lot of horsepower. That's what we got coming up. I'm Jay Walker, watching Life Off Road, right here on J-Dub Motorsports. Welcome back to another episode of Life Off-Road. Thanks again for hitting that play button, folks. And remember, while on YouTube, hit the thumbs up button, the like button. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Also, become a member. You know, we get the chance to see all the behind-the-scenes footage, some bloopers in there, a whole lot of shenanigans. The vehicle we're featuring this week is a throwback edition. This is a 1967 C10 from my friends at Chevrolet. That's been fully built resto mod man i'm very excited man you might have seen this vehicle before it was at a um, caffeine octane probably a few weeks ago the big car show they have here in atlanta once a month and um it's built from my friends at uh, a chaotic speed over there and this is one of their babies man and i remember when we saw this thing in caffeine octane it really just kind of stole the show because from the outside it looks like a classic 67 chevy but this thing has been Fully built up, frame up, I mean, from the wheels, the coil suspension, I mean, the, the rod suspension. You got the big wheel wood brakes around here, sit on some 24 Ford Giotto wheels. I mean, it's a massive build, man. It's really impressive. Let's come around to the front of the truck. One of the main things that stick out is the color. This is what they call, and this is the original color, folks. It's called a seafoam green. So you could think back in 1967, this is how this truck pretty much rolled out. I mean, just the classic line, classic designs. I get stuff to kind of come around so we can see the front of the, the vehicle. I mean, it just sits so, so pretty, man. You got your updated headlights right here. The Chevy bow tie, <coughs> excuse me. I mean, just fully beautiful, man, from the inside out, man. I just, you know, Chaotic Speed, those guys did a real great job of doing this bad boy but that's all for the outside i really want you guys to see what's underneath this hood so let's uh get to that now check see what's underneath the hood all right folks so we got the hood up and as you can tell this is a custom hood so it doesn't really raise up much but what we got power in this thing this is a 427 ls7 block engine it's all aluminum you know, when you first probably seen these type of engines, they were in the C6 Corvette Z06s when they brought the 427 out, and those were packing around 505 horsepower at the crank. This one obviously is naturally aspirated, but it has been tuned or whatnot. It doesn't have a blow on it. Like I said, it's naturally aspirated, so this thing is probably making over 700 horsepower to the rear tires. Very strong, so. Nice and attention to details. You look at the engine bay. I mean, it just <laughs> it just sits right in. I mean, it's nothing in the way. I mean, you can actually see the entire engine right here. You know, it's, it's very nicely done. And you see Chaotic Speed has a plaque right here that's stamped on the radiator there. Got long tube headers. And I'm telling you, man, this thing really sounds amazing. As you hear in this clip on the startup, I mean, as you Hear this thing just idling. I mean, it just sounds like it's ready to do some business. And uh, we'll let you hear that in a minute. But um, let's take a look at the quick interior real quick. All right, folks. So we got the interior wide open. As you can, as you can tell, this is nicely done. The interior was done by our friends at TMI Interiors. They're out of California, I believe. And they do a great job, man. I mean, from the dash... You got the updated stereo system right there, the Ford Giotto wheel that's right there. Looks like some comfortable, nice bucket seats, bench seats with the Alcatara suede inserts in here, which I'm sure are quite comfortable. But just like a truck should le look, man, just simple old school, man. Just got your one knob for your lights. You know, your gear shifted that ramp right there. Got the custom clock. This does have a 160 mile an hour dash, and uh, we probably won't get it quite up to that today, but you know we'll probably come close, especially with that LS7 block powering this bad boy. So, matter of fact, let's uh, see how that LS7 does on the streets here and uh, 
Let's take it out for a ride. All right, here we go. We're in the 1967 C10 built by our friends at Chaotic Speed. I got my man AB right here. He's gonna supervise the drive, make sure we don't kill ourselves. <laughs> Cause this is, oh shit. Oh, yeah. And that's part of the blooper reel, folks. They have the door all the way closed. But this LS7 powered V8 naturally aspirated, man, and it just wants to go. Damn, this sounds so good too. <laughs> man. So about how long it took for y'all to build this thing? Um, second time, about a, about a year each time. Yeah. Yeah, about a year each time. Off the rip, I noticed, man, this thing is obviously as strong as hell. You got the full coil over suspension, it rides smooth. Sitting on some 24s by front four Giados. Stay rides great, man. Just begging for more, but we're kind of in a heavy populated area, folks, so we gotta get to where we can get to a nice stretch where we can open it up a little bit. You hear that LS7 just breathing, man. All motor, naturally aspirated. <laughs> and off the rip, this thing, oh man, <laughs> it's just ready to ride. That instant power. Yeah, man. instant. When I say instant, folks, it's instant. <laughs> man. And with this type of power, like I said, the wheel work brace, you gotta have these type of brakes to be able to stop this thing, man. They're on that level with the Brembo's, you know, the Bears, you know, these are, it's a good company to have.
yeah, for sure. I was a little nervous when I seen them clouds kind of rolling around. I was like, don't do this, don't do this. Yeah. So Shaq gave yeah, y'all one of the trophies. What did he give y'all? The uh what this win? Basketball. Yeah, okay. You know, he give out the basketball, but then you got a man. Tires you got on the back of this thing? Twelve. That's probably what, 315 or so? 325? Uh, it's three, I think it's 335. 335, okay. You know, we're gonna widen the barrels out on them so it'll, that, that, that tire's gonna lose some more. I don't like how wide, how, how high it's in. Yeah. We're gonna widen the barrel up some more, we're gonna do a 13. Oh man, yeah, that's cool, yeah. So, when I get it back, so I dropped off Monday, when I get it back Friday, I had the 13 and everything else done. Yeah. I'm in Clayton <laughs> County. <laughs> Inside, man, I love how they did the dash and stuff in here. Got even, I just recognized the digital dash right here oh, on yeah. top of the speedometer. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you say, what suspension was in this one again? The uh, Ride Tech, Ride Tech, Ride Tech, yeah, yeah. Ride Tech suspension. Just coil over, four inch C notch. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad boy here, man. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like it.
this thing he tops out at. It'll probably, it'll probably do a hair pin of 160. It'll yeah, take this thing on one and a half mile runs. The LS7's got such a long range, especially with what y'all done to it, so yeah. I'm sure it just, man. Yeah, it'll keep pulling with that. With yeah. That. Yeah. Once he hit that four, it'll just keep pushing. Yeah. Yeah, it's super strong, man. Well, that's it for this week. I want to thank my good buddy AB for allowing us to take out this beautiful 67 C10 Chevy. LS7 power, man, over 700 horsepower to the wheels. This thing is an absolute beast, folks. An absolute blast to drive, so I definitely want to appreciate him for letting us take her out. Um, this one is not for sale, so don't be trying to call or DM me because it's not for sale. Thank uh, my newest subscribers. I appreciate all my new subscribers for checking in. Thank you to my current subscribers for passing the word, sharing, telling all your friends. I want to thank my help today, my wife, Steph. She came through for Juwan, my son, who was... Um, battling some emergency issues. Milani, we're praying for you. We hope you get well soon. Uh, special shout out, you can follow him on his Instagram at Jeddock, that's J-E-D-D-O-C dot L-L-C. You can follow our other camera guy, Kyle, at No Outlet Photos. Shout out to the most dopest producer responsible for our theme music and our soundtrack for this special episode, Mr. J Cadence. You can follow him at J Cadence One. And another special shout out to New Odd Solutions group llc.com they handle all our websites so if you need websites built give those guys a, a follow on their, all social media platforms or go to their website we're going to head on out of here because it's such a lovely day i just want to keep driving this thing so we're going to take the scenic route back to the house we'll catch you next time later